What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Adub Fishing Channel. Today we are going to be hopping right into it. We are going to be going on the boat today because number one, the rivers are flooded. Number two, I am sick of pond fishing. So we are going to the lake. We're gonna take out the Skeeter today and we're gonna switch it up because I've been going to a bunch of lakes that I normally go to. And today we're actually going to go to one of those lakes, but we're going to put in on a totally new ramp. So I've never fished on this end of the lake ever. Never in my life have I fished there. So we're gonna go try it. That end of the lake is actually more like a river. It has current, it's usually a little bit muddier and the fish are just a little bit different to catch than those normal lake fish. So we're gonna go give it a shot. I'm excited. We have to go ahead and hook up the boat to the truck. We're gonna go ahead, head out there. I'll catch you guys at the lake. All right, everybody, we are at our first spot. I've actually never fished here before ever. Never been on this side of the lake. And I'm very excited, honestly, because on this side of the lake, it's more like a river and there's a lot more structure. As you can tell, there's actually grass on the other end of the lake. All the grass is dead. So I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest with you. I've got a couple different baits tied on. I've got a Texas rig. I've got a shaky head. I've got a fluke. I've got a drop shot. Got a frog, got a crankbait. I've got just about everything that I think I need. And we're just going to go around and we're just going to fish some of this stuff. Um, I really wanted to stop here because there's a wall right there and I kind of want to fish that wall But I figured I'd go ahead and fish this grass while I was at it because the grass just looks so good. So We're gonna try it not super super deep grass, but there could be fish in it Especially small ones. I don't know if there's gonna be any huge giants in here, but There could definitely be fish. So We're gonna just kind of run this grass kind of quick Work our way over there fish that wall and then we'll jump around and hit some more spots but I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a, a shallow day. We've got some cloud cover in here. So I think I can catch some up shallow. I think I can catch them up shallow anyways if there's current, but I don't know. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Let's see if we can get one. I think we're gonna get one. Oh, I just have one. That was first fish of the day right there. I just grabbed the fluke. I don't know how good it was, but it was a fish. Dang, dude. Just came back to this other spot. I found a uh, road bed on the map. It's probably going to be a pretty shallow road bed. I'm not really sure, but what I do know is that it is a lot muddier back here. Like, a lot muddier back here. So, it's going to be interesting. I just don't know if we're going to catch anything or not, but... Hey, might as well try it, I guess. Can't hurt, can it? So I'm not sure if the road bed is right here where this point sticks out or if it's actually right next to it. I'm not 100% sure. That was something. Getting eight, but I have a fish. Oh no, he came off. Dang, dude. I just have one come off and then there's something blowing up on shad right there at the same time. Mine was a small one, but something was legit just blowing up on shad right there. I guess that was a bass. I don't know, but I had one on that other rod. Dang, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know how he came off. That was on the uh, six inch shaky head with a shaky worm. I don't know how that fish came off. I thought it was a rock at first. <laughs> I really did just think it was a rock, but it was actually a fish. He felt kind of like a good one, but when he jumped, he was a like pound, pound and a half or probably. Nothing too crazy. Shad everywhere. 
Go on, put on a crankbait. Crankbait or spinnerbait is going to be where it's at today. I can already tell you that. I was about to say, no way that's a fish. <laughs> kind of thought it was, but it was just grass. I just don't know if those are bass or not, but if they are, they're big. There's a good possibility it's probably both in. Whatever it is, it's got me. Oh, it's a bass. Dang, son. He's not bad. He's not bad. Not bad, little guy. Hmm. All right, then. Well, dang, he just turned my graph to a different page right there. But that is first fish of the day on the six cent shaky head. Divine shaky head with a shaky worm. Pretty cool little guy. I know you guys couldn't see him for very long, but uh, not really sure if you noticed, he was very, very white colored. He is very white because this water is actually so muddy that uh, the sun really can't penetrate it very well to color that fish's skin. So it's kind of a fun fact for you. Usually if you're catching fish that are really white and don't have much green, they haven't been shallow. They've been kind of deep and they've probably been in some muddy water. That's why Florida fish are so green because they're in all that vegetation and shallow water. So, yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's a huge ball of bait fish right here i think that's what that fish hit i watched the fish eat i cast it in and i caught that fish after no idea if it's the same fish or not but they're eating those little tiny shad so i'm probably gonna need to put on either a crankbait or a chatterbait or a spinnerbait because those right there are shad There's so much shad back here is unreal. Like it's crazy how much shad is on this roadbed. I'm gonna put on a crankbait. We'll try that first. If not, I have an Alabama rig. Also have some chatter baits, some spinner baits. Should have everything we need. But first we're gonna go with a crankbait. This is the one we're gonna roll with for right now. This is a four to eight foot diver, but I am throwing it on 20 pound test. So it's probably gonna only go to about six, which is about where I need it to go. And this is a chartreuse with a blue back and it's got a little bit of a white belly to it. So I think it's gonna be pretty good. That blue and chartreuse is actually a great color for muddy water because it's easier for those fish to find it. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. I think I'm gonna be able to get one on this. Probably be a pretty good one too. If they start eating the crankbait, it's going to be a fun day. That's all I'm going to say. Because when they're eating it, it is, it is crazy awesome. So let's hope they eat this thing. Dang. That sucks. Oh, shoot. They're schooling down there on that end. I just saw a couple come up. So it's actually a lot deeper on this end of the roadbed. I'm still on the roadbed because I caught one off of it and then I hooked another one off of it. And there's so much shad here. I feel like there's got to be a good amount of fish, but I just need to figure out where they're all positioned up and what they really want to eat. Two came on the shaky head, but I feel like I could probably throw something a little bit better than that. I just, I don't know. I've never fished this roadbed before. 
Something else just jumped down there, coming up to eat some shad, which is what happened down there. And I threw in, and the bass was just like, <laughs> chomp, just eat my bait right there. So you would think that if there was gonna be any, they'd be down here. I think I got one. Dang it, dude. I don't know if that was a fish or not. It felt like a fish. I just really don't know. Hmm. That was weird. Dang, that was a fish. I know for a fact that was a fish. Oh, dude. Dude. Dang it. That was definitely a fish. Oh, that sucks. Seems like they're kind of sitting down here. I mean, it's deep. They should be sitting right here. That's where they should be. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, dude. Oh, is that a largemouth? Dude, I didn't even think it was a largemouth. He's so fat. Oh, my goodness, dude. Look at how fat this son of a gun is. Look at how fat that son of a gun is, dude. Yeah. That is a fat one. I thought I had a white bass. He's so fat. Oh, my gosh. Man. Look at that thing. He is so fat. Man, that's crazy. That's the first one on the crankbait today. Dude, I thought he was a lot bigger than this, though. I thought he was a giant. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. All right, guys. Still don't have my scale, but I'm going to say that that fish is at least two pounds. Probably two and a half pounds just because she is so dang fat. But we're going to go ahead and get this girl back in the water. Going to go ahead and revive her a little bit. These fish are slow because it's so hot outside. But she should be good. There she goes. That was on the 6-inch crankbait right there. Oh my gosh, they're jumping over there again. Those fish are over there feeding up on shad. I mean, they are nice, healthy fish. And she ate this crankbait. I'm not sure the exact name, but I'll go ahead and I'll pop it up. And I'll leave it in the description down below. If you guys do want to check this out or the shaky head that we caught a fish on, you can get 10% off using my code in the description down below. Let's go ahead and get back out here because if there's more of those butterballs sitting out there, I want to catch one. That was a dang meatball, dude. That was a dang meatball. Oh my gosh, that's exciting right there. That's really exciting. Gosh, dang, dude. That is insane. They're literally just like chasing these shad. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's literally crazy. Oh, that was a fish, wasn't it? Dang it, dude, dang it! Oh, gosh. Hit me once, hit me again. Missed him both times. Oh, man. Look at that. 
Uh, right behind the hook, dude. Right behind the hook. Come on. All right, let's try that again. Hopefully this time they get the hook in their mouth. Not just the back of the worm. I mean, that fish hit me two times. The first time I was trying to decide whether or not it was a fish or a rock. And then the second time, I knew it was definitely a fish. And now we just got to see if it'll hit again. I'm in a ton of rock. That's the reason why it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Because it is just a ton of rock. All it is is just an underwater road. It stretches across the whole lake from whenever they'd flooded the lake. And there's a lot of rocks and stuff down there from that road. I mean, it's not like a nice, beautiful paved road. So there's a bunch of chunk rocks and I'm sure asphalt and who knows what. So those fish sit down there on all that stuff. And right when I drag my worm in front of them, that's when they eat it. Good one. Oh. I don't know how big it is. I think it's about a two, two and a half. I just retied on that shaky head. Oh, it's not even that big. Dang, dude. Woo, baby. They're stacked up over there, dude. I'm just having to rotate baits because they're not, they're not being consistent on what they want. Not being consistent at all. But they are biting, so. I thought that fish was a lot bigger. It's only about a pound. Pound and a half, maybe. When she jumped though, she looked so long. I was like, dang, dude, look how long she is. But apparently she wasn't that big. That's third fish of the day though. Dude, they were just coming up so good over there. Oh my gosh. It was like insane. Like bam, 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 bam. Like crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. There it is again. Oh my gosh, they're getting smoked. Dang, 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 dang. I just missed one on the fluke. Just missed one on the fluke. Let's see how they like the Alabama rig. They should smoke this thing, dude. They should kill it. Okay, eight up gang, it is the day after now. We ran out of daylight last night and I, I kept fishing all the way up until dark, then I just drove home. Didn't even wanna really film an outro because it was so dark, it was so late. But I am doing it now. Had a pretty, pretty good day yesterday. Not gonna say it was amazing, not gonna say it was terrible but I'm very satisfied. We were running all new water and I was able to find a couple fish. They just really weren't committing to it. I had some that were biting. I had some that I had hooked, but they just were short striking, I guess. They weren't really keyed in. And I think that that was a big issue that we were having. If they would have been biting really good, I think we probably would have had 10 fish yesterday. But like I said, pretty good day. I am happy with it. And uh, it, it was cool going out and fishing a new place of this lake. This is actually a lake that I fish a lot. Like I usually fish there a good bit, but I just never go up that far because I usually put in on the other side of the lake and then I have to drive like 30 minutes to get up there. So usually I just fish a little bit closer to the ramp to save on some gas money. But today I put in at a different ramp and uh, it paid off. We caught a couple fish and we had some fun. I hope that everybody enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead, be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead, subscribe down below. We are posting a lot more content like this very soon. So go ahead and subscribe and do not miss out. Join the A-Dub gang. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Go catch them.